Hey guys, it's me, Pippoogman. I'm back, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the brand new event coming to Marvel Strike Force. Probably maybe out now or coming out really soon by the time this video is posted, but we have this Mojo's Winter Special starting soon. So let me read off what this is about right here. So essentially we will have three different events going on. This is gonna be one of those events where you're gonna get a bunch of stuff through playing the game, spending campaign energy, running blitz battles, running arena battles, which you would then get little currency for this event which then you spend on orbs to open and by opening up those orbs you will get progress to a milestone i believe that's all there is to this event i'll take a look at the milestone i don't, I don't think there's any other parts of this event there are the little bonus events right here you get the 120 campaign energy for both iso 8 campaign and normal campaign energy three times catalyst and two times training modules which is nice two times training modules uh that's how it should be by default really we need more training modules in this game I don't think we could see them in the shop right now, but usually there are three different tiers to the orb. Interestingly enough, last time the purple one was better to open than the gold, I believe, in terms of what you could get out of it, because no matter what, no matter what orb you're opening, you're getting the same currency to point total uh, conversion for your milestone, which really that milestone for opening orbs is what you're really going for. That's the big reward. So no matter what orb you're opening, you're getting the same progress through per credit to the milestone. And I think because of the side drops, you know, you'll gain gold gear, purple gear, blue gear. But I believe the gear drop, like the stuff on the side of the orbs, like the gold and stuff, I think was better in the purple orb last time. So people were actually opening up the purple orb more than the gold, even though technically uh, a lot of the end game players really need the gold gear more than the purple gear. So let's take a look at this milestone. I'll gauge where I think we can make it, where I'm planning to shoot for, and yeah, what what do I think these were? Do you think they're good? Do I think we need more? Uh, you know, what's my assessment of this? So essentially, right here, these things that aren't loading. So in the Blitz store, you have those little gear orbs you can open up for the purple credits. You get them through your milestones and stuff like that. That's right there. <laughs> uh, for some reason, you know, Knox struggles with these kind of things. He, he can't load all this other things we have of interest in here we have 10 shards for a bunch of different characters that came out this year interestingly enough they exclu excluded cull obsidian from here so <laughs> kind of funny right there that they did that so close to unlocking she hawk though from getting this so that's kind of interesting not a, i mean th there are good characters like ghost i'll always take 10 more ghost shards who else is kind of not anti-venom i'll always take 10 more anti-venom shards so you know baron zemo 10 more baron zemo shards why not but uh, no Cull Obsidian, come on guys, you couldn't you couldn't throw them in the Cull Obsidian. But if we scroll through these first couple of levels, not too much to note, they are giving out a couple, and by a couple I mean like a couple of training orbs. I count two total so far. Then once you move up here, we're starting to get some purple gear, some red star currency right here, and we get some ISO 8 campaign energy, which is literally, I'd consider near, near worthless really. They can get not even normal campaign energy. Over here, we have some more of those four Elite Four credits. And I believe through this, you will get at least one Elite Four Red Star or which is nice. If we scroll through, we're starting to move into purple gear. As you go higher up, we are getting into gold gear here. If you see 2000, that's a tier one ISO 8 orb right there. And some of these that aren't loading are also, if we scroll a little farther down, they start to have some other types of orbs. Uh, as you can see, some tier one ISO 8 orbs and stuff like that. I, get, I, I don't know why Nox can't load these. Sometimes Nox loads them, sometimes Nox cut, can't. But it, while we look at here, there are a lot of gold materials, some really good stuff, alien spores really valuable alien 15 alien spores is awesome as you can see all the symbiotes needed with this right here i could bring one of my symbiotes up to gear tier 15 once i get the training materials i need the training materials but uh, symbiote spider-man to gear tier 13 or 14 kind of awesome i'm really this is great right here. So this is big. You, you want to look out for this right here. They have some other, like this is nice. The Ballistic Weave. I believe that my Emma Frost needs that. I might be able to get Emma Frost to gear tier 14 now too. So those are the superior uniques. Those are very valuable. This is another one. Uh, Hammer Tech. Uh, it's like, I, I'm not sure who needs those. Nothing. Nobody too, too crazy needs those. We scroll down, you start to get into gear tier 15 materials down here. Like this, these bottom three rows here are gear tier 15. I believe this is also gear tier 15. And then we have some gold and silver credits. Nothing, they're not giving out anywhere near enough. 10, 10, 20, to, like abysmal. But this is for whales, honestly. You're not going to make it up to this point right here. I'd say where you should set your cutoff to be is right here with Beast, this five red star beast. I, 
according to my memory, that is achievable. I believe they've had other, like I think Cable was there once as sort of, it's not uncommon for them to put a character at five red star all the way at like this milestones, three fourths of the way to the end or something like that. And that's sort of where I assess my cutoff is I wanna get that five red star character. And by the time you get there, you'll get most of the useful stuff to you. I, th these are nice. The molecular scans are really helpful. Same thing for this Shogoth Icker, but those are farmable now, so it's not the end of the world that you're not getting those. So really, right here is where I'm going to try to set my cutoff to personally. I'm going to try to get this five red star beast. Now, if I go to my roster, my beast is actually a four red star beast all the way down here and for some reason they have not made beast farmable so it doesn't even really matter necessarily but i would li i like beast i think he's got some good stuff in his kit i'm a big fan of his ultimate and he'll be on this new x-men team so he's worthwhile to keep an eye on i don't they said they were gonna make him farmable i don't know what they're waiting for he better be raider blitz blitz i if blitz orb put beast in blitz orb blitz orb is like pretty much free beast man you know but some people complain about blitz orb honestly i love blitz orb it's like boom free seven star right there and beast is come on now we can put him in there so overall there's some decent rewards i'd really like to see more training materials i don't know why flox next holds out on training materials so much I probably sound like a broken record. I talk about training materials all the time, but for some reason, Fox Next does not give out more training materials. I, the, the closest thing they have done to giving out more training materials since the start of this game, two and a half, two and a half years ago. If we go over to do more, I've talked about this before, but they're giving slightly more blue, blue training modules by running Doom uh, missions. But even then, you're not always gonna be running Doom missions because you don't always want the stuff in Doom missions. And if you go over to Real Time Arena, I think I already completed all my daily objectives so we can't see them anymore. Oh, um, we can. So you get, what, like four or five additional purple training modules every day if you run all your daily missions. And throughout the week, you can get an additional 15 training modules if you get 550 knockouts. Fox Next needs to be giving out more training materials. I don't know why they have not started to do that. Maybe in these orbs, they might be giving out training materials in the orbs. If they do have that in the orbs, that'll be kind of exciting. But I, I don't, they're usually not, I think they are in the orbs in past years, but they were not guaranteed drops. I'm pretty sure they did not have training materials as a guaranteed drop. This would be a different story though if we get to these orbs and they're like boom training materials guaranteed drop on the side that would be awesome so we'll have to see what's in these orbs generally i'd just be expecting purple gear in the purple orb gold gear in the gold orb blue gear in the blue orb and then a bunch of random stuff on the side but training materials we need training materials that's the big thing missing from these rewards and i think they i'm not gonna complain too much about these rewards because they're free you don't have to really do anything extra for this you're just playing the game you'll get all these rewards anyways by doing what you do every day normally I do see people, um, Blitz, they did say that they're changing the Blitz. If you run it manually, you'll get more points versus running an auto. Heck no, I'm not gonna be running this manually. What do you think, I, oh my gosh. So I, I wouldn't run it manually. You know, technically, is there probably somebody out there? Well, we're not competing with each other anyways. So there's no, there's no like say there's some guy that wants to run them all manually. It doesn't hurt you if somebody's running it manually. As long as you can get to beast by running all these blitzes, like bang, 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 I'm not gonna complain. Uh, especially, I'd like to hope, maybe it's like, you get 10 points for running blitz manually, but you get eight points from running it on auto, or like five to four, or something like that. I really hope it's only like a 20% decrease. Now, if they cut it in half, again, that might be a bit of a problem right there. But I have confidence that I think it's only gonna be like a slight difference just to sort of make sure as a as a newer player, they can sort of, they, they use the excuse that so, since new players can't do auto blitz, you don't wanna have them like, have the, the old players just bam, 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 run through everything and then have the new player like slowly going through. I don't know, but we'll, we'll just have to see how that shakes out too. Those are the big things to keep an eye on, how do Blitz work and how do the training materials work. But I'm still excited for this event. Always love more events coming to the game. I love those alien spores, very exciting. I'm getting closer and closer to Dark Dimension 3 every day. If only more training materials dropped in this game because it is impossible to work on more than one character at a time, which is quite depressing. Let me know down below what milestone you're planning to go for. I, th I think the beast, like that five red star character is generally not an uncommon milestone for people to try and cheat but I'd love to hear what you guys are sort of looking at on that milestone list and what you think is super valuable down below in the comments. And at the end of the day, 
what do I really know? Because I am only 19 year old. Everyone can have a happy and healthy day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Sign off, everyone.